A while back, we did two stories on the black mob tribe of the Latin kings and queens. Today, we will talk a little bit about the queen's faction. Just for some background on the structure, the black mob has a recognized leadership hierarchy and a code of conduct that members must follow. The day-to-day -day operations of the black mob are run by a five-person structure, in which the leaders are identified by their crowns. The members of the Black Mob in the Bronx, Queens, and Brooklyn have historically had separate reporting structures, each with their own crowns, but the members from all three boroughs met regularly and coordinated activities through the Bronx leadership, which ultimately oversaw all the Black Mob activity in the New York City area. In approximately the summer of 2019, the organization structure has consolidated into a single crown structure for the entire New York area. Guerra has been in the Latin Kings since he was 16 years old. He has been a member of the Black Mob tribe for most of that period and in fact was one of the founding members of the Black Mob branch in Queens, New York. According to his fellow gang members, even within a gang well known for its violence, Guerra has a reputation for being a hothead who is violence prone, often with very little provocation. His nickname, Guerra, which is Spanish for war, is a testament to this reputation. Guerra has been in and out of jail since age 17 and has accumulated at least 14 prior convictions. A number of these convictions were for violent offenses. For example, in 2005, Guerra had his first arrest for assault. He was adjudicated a youthful offender and sentenced to one year of imprisonment. But in 2006, after that conviction, he helped to attack a man in the head with a glass bottle and kick the victim in the head and body until he was unconscious, leaving a large laceration to the victim's head. For that assault, Guerra received an 11-month sentence. In 2010, he was convicted of a weapons charge after stabbing a man in the chest with a knife, for that crime, he was sentenced to another year of imprisonment. In 2015, he was arrested for threatening a person who asked him to leave a bar. Guerra said he would be back with his boys and acted as if he had a gun in his shirt, the case was pled down to criminal trespass. In 2016, while he was incarcerated, Guerra punched another inmate and broke the inmate's jaw. In addition to these violent offenses, the defendant incurred a steady stream of larceny arrests and convictions for stealing large amounts of merchandise from department stores. Like many members of the black mob, Guerra sold large amounts of dangerous drugs. A cooperating witness who was a member of the Latin Kings, CW1, was introduced to Guerra in approximately 2017 by Latin King, Wisdom. Guerra was introduced to CW1 as the founding member of the black mob in Queens. After meeting CW1, Guerra began to regularly supply CW1 with heroin. Guerra supplied approximately half a kilogram of heroin at a time. At some point after meeting Guerra, CW1 formally joined the black mob. In 2019, CW1 met with Guerra on multiple occasions at the direction of law enforcement. These meetings were recorded. In these meetings, Guerra discussed his narcotics operation. For example, on April 14, 2019, Guerra met with CW1 and discussed a potential cocaine transaction. During this meeting, Guerra told CW1 that Guerra's girlfriend has connections in the cartel who can ship them bricks of cocaine, which Guerra then sells. Guerra quoted CW1 a price of $30 per gram, told CW1 that he would let CW1 know when they received another shipment of cocaine, and also told CW1 that he had a source who could sell firearms to CW1. Guerra and CW1 continued to text and call about the transaction in the days following, including a May 17, 2019 recorded call, in which Guerra said that he and his girlfriend were going to pick up dog food and the white girl, which CW1 understood to mean heroin and cocaine, and that Guerra could sell CW1 both. That sale never happened because, shortly after that call, Guerra went to jail on a state case for several months. When Guerra was released in September, he contacted CW1 and continued to have conversations about arranging a narcotic sale. Another cooperating witness who was a member of the Black Mob, CW2, stated that Guerra sold approximately 1 to 2 kilograms of cocaine on a regular basis and that Guerra used his girlfriend to get the cocaine. A third cooperating witness who was a member of the Black Mob, CW3, stated that he had seen Guerra selling ounce quantities of marijuana in Queens. Members of the black mob protect their drug operation with guns, and CW1 and CW2 have both observed Guerra with a firearm. Guerra told the cooperating witnesses that he got the gun from black mob member 2B at a time when Guerra was in a beef with members of the rival MS-13 gang. 
as we stated, Guerra has a reputation for violence within the black mob, and he frequently bragged about the violence he committed. He was particularly partial to stabbings, and much of his violence was triggered by the most minor of provocations, all of which furthered his reputation within the gang as someone to be feared. In or about October 2016, Guerra and other Queens-based members of the Black Mob engaged in a street brawl with members of the rival MS-13 gang. The fight was in retaliation for an attack that MS-13 carried out on senior Black Mob member, Nino. The attack occurred on the streets in the vicinity of approximately 139th Street in Queens. During the brawl, members of the Black Mob, including Guerra, attacked members of MS-13 with canes, bottles, and machetes. CW3 observed Guerra stab an MS-13 gang member in the neck with a pair of scissors. There's more though. On or about October 6, 2018, Guerra asked a man who was standing outside a restaurant in Jamaica, Queens, Victim 2, if Victim 2 was a member of the Latin Kings. When Victim 2 did not respond, Guerra stabbed Victim 2 in the neck. A witness near the scene who knew Guerra saw Guerra at a nearby bar shortly after the stabbing, where the witness observed Guerra laughing. Guerra told the witness that he was laughing because he had just stabbed a guy because the guy said something Guerra did not like. The day after the stabbing, victim 2 identified Guerra in a photo array as the person who stabbed him. Approximately two months later, on December 17, 2018, Guerra was arrested for the stabbing. At that time, victim 2 failed to identify Guerra in a lineup. The state prosecutors then dismissed the case. In an April 14, 2019 recorded meeting with CW1, Guerra bragged to CW1 that he had just been released from jail for a case where he beat a stabbing charge in the lineup, even though he did in fact stab the victim. Guerra also bragged to CW2 about the situation. In an April 14, 2019 recorded meeting with CW1, Guerra told CW1 that he had stabbed a black mob member named Wiz two times, because Wiz accused Guerra of robbing another black mob member. Wiz ripped Guerra's jacket during the argument. After Wiz tore Guerra's jacket, Guerra told Wiz that Wiz would pay for the jacket in blood and stabbed him. In November 2019, 17 members and associates of the Black Mob, including Guerra, were indicted in the instant case. Flip is a longtime member of the Black Mob's branch in Queens. Flip and his brother, 2B, are two of the most prominent members of the gang's Queens branch, and both have held a number of leadership positions. We will refer to Flip and 2B as the Quello brothers. Flip served two sentences for violent conduct. In 2012, at age 16, he was convicted of assault in the first degree. He was adjudicated as a youthful offender and sentenced to five years as probation. Despite this lenient sentence, and despite being subject to the court supervision, in 2015 Flip committed another assault. This time, he and other individuals struck a victim on the head with a glass bottle, causing an injury. For this assault, the defendant was sentenced to one year of imprisonment, and was also resentenced on his prior case to one to three years as imprisonment. Flip had previously been the leader of the Latin King Loyalty Tribe, but he turned black mob in prison. While in jail, Flip had a reputation for putting in work, meaning committing violence against rival gangs. When Flip came out of jail, many of his fellow loyalty members, including his brother 2B, had also joined the black mob. A senior member of the black mob who is cooperating with the government, CW5, has stated that between the brothers, 2B is the mouth, and Flip is the muscle. When the Queen's branch had its own independent reporting structure, Flip held a number of formal leadership positions, including both the Fifth Crown and the Head of Security. The Head of Security runs a security team of Black Mob members, who are in charge of protecting the gang and carrying out violent missions. Multiple members of the Black Mob have identified Flip as having a reputation for violence within the gang. Cooperating witnesses have also described periods of tension between the Queen's branch of the Black Mob, and in particular, Flip himself, and the senior leadership of the Consolidated Black Mob, who felt the Queen's was not contributing equally to the gang. As part of this conflict, on at least one occasion, Flip received a violation for missing a meeting, which entailed another member of the gang hitting Flip on the back for a minute. The tension between the Queen's branch and the rest of the Black Mob in part led to the consolidation of the boroughs in the summer of 2019. At least one cooperating witness has stated that the tension had resulted from Flip and his brother wanting more power in the gang. During the course of the investigation, Flip was observed leading Black Mob meetings, consistent with his leadership role in Queen's. Some of these meetings were recorded by CW1. 
For example, at a July 14, 2019 meeting of the Queen's branch of the Black Mob, Flip, 2B, and Nino discussed with the members how the gang needed to make more money and not to talk about their activities amongst themselves too much so that if someone got indicted, they would not be able to tell law enforcement about the full scope of the gang's criminal activity. The group also discussed opening a spot in Jamaica, Queens to sell marijuana. Flip often had a knife with him at meetings and was proud of his leadership position in the gang. He used social media to communicate with gang members and promote the gang. Members of the Black Mob, including Flip, regularly posted pictures of Flip displaying gang signals with other members of the Black Mob. Flip also used private messaging on Instagram to coordinate Black Mob business. Flip is not only involved in overseeing the gang's drug operation as a leader in the gang, but also himself deals drugs for the Black Mob. Flip personally sold cocaine, oxycodone, and marijuana. According to CW2, Flip made approximately 1500 a week selling marijuana. Flip also received cocaine through the mail from a black mob member named Faith. CW2 has also seen the brothers bag up cocaine at their apartment. The Quillo brothers also kept a revolver in their apartment to protect the drugs. CW2 has seen the gun on Flip's bed. According to another cooperating witness, CW3, Flip sold both oxycodone and marijuana. CW3 estimated that Flip gets oxycodone from an individual that has a prescription. Flip gets 50 pill jars of oxycodone and sells two to three jars at a time. CW3 has also seen Flip with a 38 caliber handgun in his apartment. At the time of Flip's arrest, the FBI found a large knife and a bag of marijuana in Flip's room. Flip also has a prior gun arrest from 2015, in which he was caught with other black mob members in a car with a gun. As we stated, he is sometimes referred to as the muscle of the Queen's branch of the black mob. When CW2 first met Flip, Flip told CW2 that the black mob in Queens had an ongoing beef with the current members of loyalty, the Latin King tribe that Flip and others had been part of before joining the black mob. Flip and 2B told CW2 about an incident in which they had repeatedly chased a particular member of loyalty who drove a blue Honda. On one of those occasions, the Quillo brothers had chased a rival who was with his baby and his baby's mother at the time. Flip stated that he picked up the stroller with the rival's baby in it and threw it out of the way so that they could get to the rival and beat him up. The Quillo brothers told CW2 that on another occasion they had seen the loyalty rival in a car stopped at a traffic light, the Quillos pulled him out of the car and beat him up. CW2 also stated the Flip and others told him about an incident in which Flip and other members retaliated against rival Latin Kings in East New York. According to CW2, Flip and the other black mob members slashed a member of a rival named Breezy in retaliation for an attack carried out against a black mob member named Heck. This attack is the one where they carved an X or something like that in the guy's hand. This event was in the two prior stories, watch those for more insight. In addition, according to another cooperating witness, CW4, Flip and 2B bragged about slashing a member of MS-13 in retaliation for an attack against a black mob member named Shadow. CW4 has also heard Flip and talk about a situation where, in 2019, Flip and his brother went to a bar in Queens and cut up a Mexican man. Flip and 2B told other members of the black mob about shooting at rivals from their apartment window. According to CW2, Flip and 2B both told CW2 about an incident in which they got the revolver they kept in their apartment and fired it out their window at rival gang members. Flip told CW2 that they had observed members of the loyalty tribe near the entrance to the building, so they shot at them through the kitchen window. CW2 believes that the incident took place in the summer of 2019, shortly after an incident in which Flip and his brother had beaten up one of the rival loyalty members. The Quillo brothers then stayed away from their house for a period while things cooled down. According to CW1, 2B told CW1 that he had to give a firearm away to another Latin King too, because Flip had fired out his apartment window at some rival gang members. This account is corroborated by CW3, who stated that Flip had tried to get CW3 to hold onto a gun for him. In December 2019, 17 members and associates of the black mob, but not Flip himself, were arrested in this case. According to CW5, a senior leader of the black mob, after the December 2019 takedown, there were rumors that Flip and his brother were going to start their own tribe of the Latin Kings. Since Flip's arrest in the summer of 2021, he has continued to affiliate with the black mob, though, including by throwing up gang signs in jail. 
There is not much else to say about these guy though, and this about wraps it up for this one. And as always, stay low and thanks for watching.